If you clicked on this video, chances are you're thinking about getting a new laptop. Well, you came to the right place because we got one of the best budget-friendly options to showcase today. This is Nemo's N173, a high-performance laptop built specifically for students, creators, or professionals who need a computer designed to handle those heavy workload tasks. It's powered by AMD's Ryzen 5 6600H, equipped with 32GB of dual-channel DDR5 RAM, a 1TB NVMe Gen 4 SSD for storage, all available for $600 right now. There's a lot of notable features within this laptop, and we're going to be breaking down everything you need to know and see if it's worth it for you. So while we get everything ready, let me give you a quick rundown of the Nemo brand. They're a US family owned business that designs their computers for everyday users who desire both quality and performance at an affordable price, which is why a lot of customers heavily praise it. You also get peace of mind with their two year warranty and extended 90 day return window with excellent customer service. It's great knowing that when you buy from Nemo, you're supporting a growing brand that truly puts their users first. With that said, they did send me this temporary laptop for me to unbox and review so I can check it for myself and return it to them after. Alright, now that we got the laptop booted up, let's take a look at what we're working with. So, first impression, it's a large size laptop being 17 inches. The overall build is mostly plastic, keeping it lightweight but it still feels solid and sturdy. For the display, we have the 17.3 inch Full HD IPS panel. The colors look great and when adjusting viewing angles, there's no color shifts when you tilt the screen so that's a good sign. The brightness can be toned to indoor or outdoor use, which features this anti-glare finish to help reduce reflections to keep the visuals clear when used outside. The ports are a big form factor here, ensuring that you have everything available for all your connectivity needs. It's designed for users that rely on a wide range of devices from USB accessories, media tools, and external displays. You can connect multiple monitors via HDMI, but it is a bit disappointing that there's no display port option. That said though, the overall input and output selection still offers great versatility and it covers most use cases well. Next, let us have a look at the trackpad and keyboard. The trackpad is a wide multi-touch surface that handles standard gestures smoothly, like pinch to zoom and two finger scrolling. Integrated is a built-in fingerprint scanner for instant one-touch logins for added conveniency and security. The keyboard includes this full size layout complete with a dedicated number pad on the right side. The keys have a soft responsive feel that's not too clicky but adequate enough for long typing sessions. Backlighting is also adjustable to help in low light environments which is also a nice touch. Moving on to the webcam, it's pretty basic with a 2 megapixel front facing camera. It's more for the sake of convenience to get the job done for video calls or online meetings but honestly I find it to be pretty good. The indicator light turns on when the webcam is active and there's even a privacy shutter that you can slide when it's not in use. Doing a side by side comparison with my camera, you can see the difference for yourself. There's also a built-in mic included, which I tested during gaming sessions using the in-game proximity chat. Now talking through the laptop. Sound like you're talking like with your tablet. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was gonna sound worse, but that's good then. Do you want to use the in-game then? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's get into the technicals with the hardwares and specs. It's powered by AMD's Ryzen 5 6600H, which is a 6-core 12-thread processor that can be boosted to 4.5GHz. The H at the end stands for high performance, it's a type of CPU that you typically find in gaming laptops or professional machines. These chips are designed for heavier workloads and better thermal headroom compared to the U-series chips, which are more focused on battery life for ultrabooks or everyday laptops. For memory, we got 32GB of DDR5 RAM, it's dual channel running at 4800MHz. This is especially helpful when you're running multiple applications, working with large files, or doing any type of creative work like video editing or 3D rendering. Dual channel allows the CPU to access memory across two lanes which increases overall throughputs and helps reduce performance bottlenecks. For storage, we have a 1TB NVMe Gen 4 SSD which is one of the fastest consumer grade storage options available right now. This offers much higher read and write speeds compared to older SATA drives or even Gen 3 SSDs. This means that your system is going to boot up almost instantly, applications launch quicker, and large files transfers in seconds. With a full terabyte of space, you're going to have plenty of room for games, creative projects, or general use without worrying about storage limits. In terms of graphics, the integrated GPU features Radeon 660M. This is based off of AMD's RDNA2 architecture, which includes 6 GPU cores clocked in at 1900MHz. 
Don't expect any AAA gaming to perform well with this chip, but you can realistically expect to run many esports titles like Valorant, CSU, League, and Fortnite at 1080p 60fps. What I like to do is configure the VRAM to a higher output, which helps ensure smooth gameplay and consistent performances across sessions. You can do this by going to the start menu, opening up the command prompt, and inputting this command listed here. This is going to reboot the laptop into an advanced startup, which will let you go into the BIOS and configure the VRAM settings. I'm gonna go for a ride. I got one thing, I got a book. Are you alive? Okay. I'm just gonna pet it so it goes away. The dog's too strong right now. Even though this chipset isn't primarily designed for gaming, the integrated graphics still offers respectable performance, and that power translates directly into other areas like productivity and creative work. This makes it a machine that can be used for 3D rendering, artwork, music production, or along the lines of video editing. Battery life is really good, it has a 53 watt hour battery so everyday use like web browsing or video streaming should net you between 4-6 to six hours. Heavier workloads gonna drop that down to a modest 2-3 to three hours, but if you pair that with the 100 watt USB-C charger that's included in the box, with just 15 minutes of charging, that's gonna provide you up to 2 hours of use. As an alternative, I have this 140 watt power station that delivers a stable 50 to 60 watt output for a convenient charging that I like to use for this laptop when it's on my desk. All in all, if you're a student, content creator, or creative professional who needs a high performance laptop on a budget, then the Nemo N173 is a fantastic option. At the time of this recording, it's currently on sale for 40% off, bringing the price down to $600. If you're interested in picking one up, then I'll include links or any available discount codes in the description of this video so you can check it out for yourself. That will conclude my review of the Nemo N173. Let me know what you guys think about this laptop, if it's worth the price, or if it's something you think would fit your needs. If you already own this laptop, I'd like to hear your overall experience of it or if it's something that you would recommend to others. If you enjoyed this video, please support our channel by liking and subscribing to help us grow. We're always looking to feature new and affordable options like this laptop here, so be sure to stay tuned for what's coming next. Thanks as always for watching, and until next time, take care.